Welcome back. Today I'm going to look at the Pro Study Assist app. Now this is an app you can get on Android and iOS. It enables you to do research when you're out and about. You might be in a library or maybe just generally doing research on your phone or tablet. How it works is you can actually sync your information from your Pro Study Assist app to your software on your Mac and PC. So it all stores in the cloud. It enables you to share all your research with yourself. So first thing you need to do, if you come up to manage, actually come down where it says about you can select a little link here first thing you need to do is register at the pro study website so make sure you've selected register here and you've filled in all your details in here including your license key this is the information you're going to need to sync your app to the cloud and share with your mac or pc once you've created that i want to close that window you can then add the information by going to manage once you're done if you go to sync you'll be able to set it up for the sync options. And if you select the little link here as well, it gives you information on using the Pro Study Assist app there underneath. So definitely worth a look at. So I've already done that and I've got app on my iPhone. So we're now going to have a look on how it works. Now if I come to the top here, if you look at my previous video on Pro Study, you see that I was demoing two topics there. But let's just say you're out and about now, if I go to existing projects, can you see projects that I've got on my PC are listed here as well? Because they automatically sync once you've set it up so you can share your research on your PC, Mac and phone and tablets. But what I want to do here, I want to come back out there top left. I want to do a new project. So let's say you're out and about and you'll do a bit of research. I'll just pop antiques in as an example. Now, that would be my main topic. So I need to add categories underneath. So first category, I could just call that, for example... Just do general collectible, shall we? And choose a colour. I'm going to make that green. I mean, the colours are probably relevant to you, what you use, and you kind of associate colours with topics. Or you might not use the colours, it's entirely up to you. And let's do another one. So, should we call this antiques? We just pop stamps in. I know it's more collecting, but click on that and then choose a colour again. Save. There we go. You add as many categories to your topic antiques as you want. Select save. And select yes. So you can see at the bottom there in green, it's told me it's a new project. So I'm ready to go. I could still click on mental health if I want to start adding information to that. Again, it's all just going to sync with your pro study anyway. But I want to go to antiques. Let's say you've got a bit of research to do and you're going to start with general. So we've got two options there. If I click here, this will go online so I can do research online. So where am I going to go? Let's go Google Scholar. As an example, obviously you can go where you want to go. And I'm just going to pop in collectibles just generally. There we go, that'll do. Collectible. And I'm going to scroll down. So I'm going to click on the first link I see, really, as an example. You're reading through this and it's information you want to use. Now, I'm on the iPhone, so if I keep my finger actually on the screen, and I can drag up for the information I want. So I'm just going to copy that for now. See at the top it says Pro Study Capture. Tap on that. So I've now captured it. You can also use screenshot at the bottom if you want. Now, if I go left, you can see it's going through all that information. And again, I can highlight information that I might want. This time to do a screenshot and select yes. And there you go, it's all screenshots. So now I can choose what I want to do with that. So I want to save an image. I'm not going to convert it. I can also use an option if you're using a PDF format, for example, where you can convert it using OCR. And that will turn image into text format, which is really handy online to access information quickly. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to select save and give that a name. Just call that research too as an example. And there we go. I'm done. Come back out in there. Now I've got another option here top right. I can add the little star to add that to your favorites as well. But you need to be logged into Google and I haven't logged in yet just to let you know so you can save your favorites so I'm going to come back out of there so let's now have a look at general tap into it there's that information I've gathered so I've select this source it would take me straight back to where it originally come from it's a really handy option I'm going to come back out of there let's do a bit more research I'm going to select little option again let's go somewhere else shall we let's do a general search collectibles Scroll down, and I'm going to choose any website again for this demonstration. That'll do. I'm 
and then you scroll down and again you open up scroll down and then you might see an image you want as well so I might look at that and go that'll be useful so I'm gonna take the screenshot of that at the bottom yes I do want to continue and then scroll to the bottom I can then save that I don't really want to OCR that turn that into text because there's no text on there really is there but I do want the image so I can select save image and give it a name see how easy it is to build up your research information now bottom left hand corner I can go forward and back so if I select back it takes me back out of that website and I'll do one more to show you and let's go on Wikipedia scroll down again and again I'm just going to highlight some text again this time any text will do generally for this that would do lovely and again pro study capture and remember it's an image you could use screenshot as well screenshot it and then use the OCR option at the bottom to convert that into a readable format also if you've got photos already on your phone you've taken for book pages and stuff you could use the select photo option on the right but I'm going to come to that now actually I'm going to come back out of here I'm going to select on general but the camera option this time let's just say you're using a book in a library or anywhere and you want to take a snapshot of that page but also the source so grab the book you want try this out yourself with any book and select where it says take photo so I'm going to take a snapshot of some text on the whole page it's up to you but I'll just do a snapshot there and it's done so I've got a snapshot of that information I want to use the photo so it's now added it to my pro study assist app now this in this case I could leave it as an image and select save image but actually I want to convert that into a readable format and there you go I've got all that information from the book readable text format to work with so now if I scroll to the bottom happy with that I'm going to save that and I'm actually going to put the page that I've got it from page 7 and then you can put the book name in if you wanted to as well so you know something where you got it from click OK now something to show you with that option if you need to do this as well I'm going to go back and again when you take a photo generally use photo if you also want the source see top right hand corner scan barcode so if I select scan barcode and I'm going to turn to the back of the book and click camera now it's got an option here barcode where it will read the ISBN number of a book and grab the source for you so I'm going to scroll down there you go select yes and there you go I've got the source information but I always recommend just going to play for example it's not quite got the publisher there go in there and you can look for the publisher there and you can add your information fill in make sure you fill that in referencing is really important and then you can enter the page number there where I put page 7 remember so you've stored all your information I can select use book select use book at the bottom and yes and there we go if I now come back out Let's have a look at the information you gathered for general. Tap on general. We have that text that I highlight from websites earlier. Stuff I converted, got an image. Wikipedia stuff I've highlighted again. And page seven from that book, you've got all that text. It's now been OCR'd. I want to come out of that. That's all good. Now, if I select the sync button, top right hand corner, it's going to say click sync button to sync your changes to cloud. So I'm going to select sync. I'm going to come to my PC. If you go to the top, you see nothing synced yet. Don't worry. Go to Manage and select the Sync button, which we set up earlier, and select Perform Sync. And there we go. If I close it, we've now got it there. Antiques. I've got all my research there. So if I actually go to Preview. I can see all my research I've done for my phone or app that I can access. If I actually if I actually scroll down, you can see that OCR from the book. I've got all the text there that I can work with as well. And the page number. So that's a quick overview of using the Pro Study Assist app. What I love about this software, it's really easy to use. And they both integrate beautifully. Best of luck with your studies. Thanks for watching.